so i think we're about ready to refactor now we should probably take a look at some color theory to get a good idea of how we want to structure the layout of our page now a good place like i said i'm not the most creative person in the world what i am good at though is taking other people's thoughts on colors and applying them to my web page and i'm going to show you the process i would go through right now to do that the first thing you should do is you should go to google and i'm going to type into google material design color themes just like that material design color themes everyone right now can go ahead and type that into google material design by the way is the google design principles that they use to style all of their stuff so any google product is usually styled using material design concepts so we're going to pull out a few of those right now and talk about how they work i'm not going to go super in depth into material design but i am going to play around with a few concepts now once you've typed this in the second link that comes up materialpalette.com really great resource let's take a look at it So this is great because it gives you different color palettes, icons that material, material design icons. It gives you different colors to pick from. Look at these icons, find one you like. We can play around with a bunch of them later. Don't worry. You can look at distinct colors from any subset, like light blue colors, indigo colors, deep purple, pink, yellow, amber, orange, etc. But for now, we're going to select a color palette. So the color palette I'm going to pick, and you can pick your own if you want, but the way I pick them is I start with any color. I'm going to start with indigo, click, and then I'm going to click another one, pink, click. And the second I do that, it generates my own color palette for me right here, a set of colors that I can use on my site as dark primary colors, primary colors, light primary color, text icons, dividers, secondary text, primary text, accent colors, etc. So this is really cool because it shows you a little display of what that might look like. It gives you a bunch of colors to pick from and all you have to do is click on the color and it'll copy it to your clipboard and it'll even give you the hex code right there. So you can see hashtag 33F9F is the color I'm going to choose. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that color and I'm going to go back into my header. I'm going to open up my style.css file. Bootcamp period two. I'm going to open my style.css file. Open up. Bring you right here. Oops. Come with me. There we go. Is this the right one? Got it. So in my style.css file, I want to change the background of the header to have the color scheme for my color, the, my color palette that was just picked out for me by material palette. So I'm going to go down the part that says header, where it says background color white, and I'm just going to paste in that new color. Cool? So everyone go ahead and do that right now. Adds a nice little touch to it. So the first part of this is pretty fly. That looks okay. I like it. So, uh, you know, this is kind of a, a concept that I think can really change your web page. But you still see here, we still need to deal with text. The text is black and red. It looks a little funky. This text is still purple. Let's go ahead and take care of all of those really quickly. You ready? So, once you've pasted that color into the header class, let's make the color of the H1 text here white. So, it looks much, much better. So, right now, the color is red in the H1. Go ahead and change that to white to see how that looks. Already, again, a world of difference. This is fantastically better. I'm also going to remove the text align center so that it positions itself to the left, which is not necessarily the best thing right now, but it's going to make more sense as we go through this layout later on. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this H3 right here also. See that H3? I'm going to get rid of it. But here's a collection of animals. I don't think we need that anymore. So I'm going to go back into my index.html and I'm going to get rid of that H3 right there. The part says, here's a collection of animals. I'm just going to delete the whole thing. So everyone can go ahead and do that with me as well in your index.html file. I will copy all of it into Slack in just a minute, absolutely. 
So I went, I went ahead and deleted the H3 below the H1 in my header. Yeah, the thing that says, here's a collection of animals, I just got rid of that. And in my style of CSS, I got rid of the text align center for the H1, and I gave it a color of white. So this already looks a little bit better, but I have some problems with these two colors right here. The red is a little funky, the purple is a little funky, the light blue is a little funky. So let's go ahead and change those right now. Back in my material design palette, I'm going to go ahead and click on this accent color of pink. See that right there? That accent color of pink. I'm going to click that guy right there. And it's going to pull up a pink color to my clipboard. Hashtag FF4081. And then back in here, I'm going to change the border bottom of my header from red to pink. To that pink color I just selected. Better colors decisions can do wonders for a page. You can see how much better this, this header already looks. But this purple is seriously throwing me off. So we're going to have to change that. I'm actually going to get rid of this whole thing right here. The div background color of purple. Let's get rid of that. Bing. Gone. Okay. Still not the loveliest thing in the world. But we're on our way. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy and paste all of this into Slack right now so that you can all be caught up really quickly. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll come around and answer them. Now, we could leave this background color light blue for the entire body, and that would be fine. But I think sticking with a color theme adds a ton to this page. So back in my material design palette, I'm going to grab this light primary color right there, and I'm going to make the entire page, the body, have a light primary color well light purple or indigo i think is what this is called hashtag c5 c a e9 grab that and paste it as the background color for your entire body ding and there we go much much better already now i might show this to my mom she would still not be that impressed but we're on our way I'm also going to make sure that I give all the text inside my body a default color. If you want to give something a background color, you specify it with a property of background color. If you want to make the text have its own specific color, you just say color, just like that. And then you can give that color whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to go with the primary text color of hashtag 21212121. You can copy that if you want, but I'm just going to type it in. I'm going to say hashtag 212121. You'll notice it doesn't change much, but it looks nice, and that's all that matters. I'm also going to say that all of my font should have a default size of 16 pixels, and that it should be a font family of Arial. Okay. So I've done a couple things here, just a few little minor changes, but like I said, a couple different styling just like a couple different styling tweaks can do wonders for your page. So font family of Arial, a default font size of 16 pixels for all the text on the page like this. A color of hashtag 21212121, which is like barely black or like mostly black. And a background color of light indigo. So I'm going to wrap up this video for here and we're going to continue with some styling and positioning layout in the next video. And I'll go ahead and paste all this in Slack and again and come around and answer any questions you guys have.